The iPhone 16e is the first iPhone to have Apple's own cellular modem instead of a Qualcomm chip. If it's such a breakthrough, why is it only on a lower end iPhone? So in the past, what they did was they kind of mixed. So you could buy like an iPhone and you roll the dice if you got an Intel chip or the Qualcomm chip. And there was a whole thing of, oh, you don't want the Intel one. Here's how to check it. If Intel is actually it's slower. Cool, right? different. Yeah. And so they don't want that. They don't want somebody buying an iPhone 16 Pro and they find out that it has the Apple chip that doesn't do millimeter weight. Like, I mean, obviously they have excellent relationships with foundries, but anytime you're rolling out a new family of chips and radio is really weird by itself, it's really tough. And so looking at forecasting and saying, okay, this is how many working chips we think we'll be able to make in this quarter, this quarter, and this quarter, they needed to find a product slot that lined up with that. And the 16E was it. So I thought the Apple C1 chip is actually faster than the Qualcomm. Is that true? Ookla, the people behind speedtest.net, looked at the data by device. And it seems like if you're on a fast network, then the Qualcomm chip is actually faster. And I think a lot of that comes from supporting the wide band support. Yeah. Yep. And if you're on a slow network, the C1 maybe outperforms. That might be better performance at like low signal strength than the Qualcomm chip. All right. That's good. I mean, it also definitely uses less power in the fall car, right? That seems to be true, yeah. Good for battery life. Right? Yeah. We have a lot more tech discussions on our channel, so subscribe.